Hi guys! I'm so excited to share you this velvet pop sleeves and if you want to recreate this purse and cute scrunchie, feel free to visit my channel. To start this project, make a slip knot. Make chains depending on your measurement. For size small, I made 22 chains. Chain 3 Double crochet on the third chain from the hook. Continue on making DC in every stitch. To make another row, chain 2, and then turn your work. Double crochet on every stitch.
Again, skip one row and then single crochet on the next row. Repeat this until you reach the last row of double crochet. Chain 1, single crochet on the first stitch from the side. Place a stitch marker on the chain 1 to determine the corner. Continue on making single crochet on every stitch. Repeat this until you reach the last stitch. Chain 1. Turn your work. Single crochet on the first row of double crochet. Place a stitch marker to determine the corner. Skip one row of double crochet and then make a single crochet on the next row. Repeat until you reach the last row of double crochet. Chain 1, single crochet on the first stitch from the side, and then place a stitch marker. Turn your work, continue on making single crochet on every stitch. Chain 1, slip stitch on the first stitch from the other side. Turn your work. Skip the chain 1 and make a single crochet on the first stitch. Chain 2 Make a decrease or 2 double crochet together on the next 2 stitches. Continue on making double crochet.
to make another row of decrease, chain 2, turn your work, double crochet on every stitch until there's 3 stitches left. Decrease on the two stitches. And then double crochet on the last stitch. Repeat the first row of decrease chain 2. Make a decrease on the next two stitches. Remember to make a decrease on this side only. And there should be a total of 9 rows of decrease. Chain 2, turn your work, double crochet on every stitch. You will repeat this row for 2 more times. Make a slip knot and then cut the yarn. The part with the crease will be the top part and the part without the crease will be the bottom. And you will repeat the same procedure for the other side. Attach the yarn on the top part. Chain 2, turn your work, make a decrease on the two stitches. Just remember to have a 9 rows of decrease and 3 rows without decrease. Next, attach the yarn at the bottom part. Turn your work. Chain 1. Make one single crochet on the first row of DC. Mm -hmm. 
on the next row of DC, make 2 single crochet. And then repeat the 2 single crochet on every row of DC. Repeat until you reach the stitch marker. Remove the stitch marker and make one single crochet at the chain 1. And then place your stitch marker. For this part, make 2 single crochet on each hole. one and two you will repeat this until you reach the stitch marker again remove the stitch marker single crochet on the chain 1 and then place your stitch marker for this part make two single crochet on each row of double crochet Repeat this until you reach the last row of double crochet. Chain 2. Turn your work. Double crochet on the next stitch. Now, skip one stitch. And then double crochet on the previous stitch. Again, repeat it. Skip one stitch, double crochet on the second stitch, and then double crochet on the previous stitch. You will repeat this until you reach the stitch marker. Remove the stitch marker and then make a decrease on the next two stitches. Again, place your stitch marker. Continue on making double crochet on every stitch. Repeat this until you reach the stitch before the stitch marker. Make a decrease. Don't forget to put back your stitch marker. And then continue with the X double crochet. Skip one stitch, DC on the second stitch, and DC on the previous stitch. Repeat. Skip one stitch, and then DC on the previous stitch. Repeat until there's two stitches left. 
double crochet on the last two stitches. And you will repeat this row until you are satisfied with the length of your top. To double crochet at the start, XDC, decrease at the stitch marker, double crochet, decrease again, XDC, and to double crochet at the last two stitches. So I made a total of 4 rows. You can add more rows if you want to. Put the stitch markers where you want to place the straps. I suggest to make the stitch markers near to each other to avoid the straps from falling down. Also, place a stitch marker at the back part. To start the straps, tie the yarn. Chain 2 Make 2 double crochet on 1 stitch To make another row, chain 2 And then turn your work Make double crochet on the next two stitches. Again, chain two, turn your work, double crochet on the next two stitches. Repeat this until you have enough length for the straps. I made a total of 23 rows. Feel free if you want to copy it. Now we're going to attach the straps. Make sure that the strap is not twisted. Make a slip knot and then turn your work. Single crochet on the next stitches. Make a slip knot and then cut the yarn. For the sleeves, attach the yarn. Chain 1 
make two single crochet on each hole. And when you reach the part with the crease, make two single crochet on each row of double crochet. At the strap, make two single crochet on each row. And you will repeat this around until you reach the starting point. Slip stitch at the starting point. Chain 2 Double crochet on every stitch Repeat until you reach that part At the strap part do the X DC. Skip one stitch. Double crochet on the previous stitch. Again, skip one stitch. And then double crochet on the previous stitch. Repeat the XDC until you reach the starting point. Make a slip stitch at the starting point. And you will repeat this row for one more time. Chain 2 Double crochet on the next 3 stitches. Now that we have a total of 4 double crochet including the chain 2, we're going to make an increase or 2 double crochet in 1 stitch. And you will repeat the 4 double crochet and increase the 5th stitch. Repeat all around. Slip stitch at the first stitch. Chain 2. Double crochet at the next 12 stitches.
Now that we have a total of 13 DC, make an increase at the 14th stitch. And you will repeat this all around. Slip stitch at the starting point, chain 2, double crochet on every stitch. There will be no increase on this row. We will repeat this row for 4 times. Chain 2, double crochet on the next 9 stitches. Now that we have a total of 10 double crochet, we're going to make a decrease at the 11th stitch. To make a decrease, yarn over, find the front loop of the next 2 stitches. And then make a double crochet using the 2 front loop. And that's how we're going to make the decrease at the sleeves. And you will repeat this all around. Chain 2, double crochet on the next 5 stitches. Now that we have a total of 6 double crochet, we're going to make a decrease. And you will repeat this all around. Slip stitch at the starting point. Chain 2, double crochet on the next 2 stitches. Now we have 3 double crochet, decrease at the 4th stitch. And you will repeat this all around. Repeat this row for 3 times. For the last row, single crochet at the starting point and then place a stitch marker. Single crochet on the next 2 stitches and then make a decrease. Again, single crochet on the next 3 stitches and then decrease at the 4th stitch. You will repeat this all around. Make a slip stitch at the starting point. And then make a slip knot, cut the yarn. Don't forget to hide the excess yarn. So here's our first puff sleeve. And you will repeat the same procedure for the other side.
Now, tie the yarn at the back part. Chain 2 Double crochet on the next two stitches. And we are the dreamers of dreams. Chain two, skip two stitches, and then double crochet on the next three stitches. Repeat this until you reach the end of the row. Make a slip knot and then cut the yarn. And you will repeat the same procedure for the other side. For the tie, make a slip knot and then make a chain depending on how long you want it to be. So I made a total of 85 chains. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this tutorial and I really enjoyed using the velvet yarn. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos.